a package from Japan that I'm going to be unboxing today. As always, I get super excited about my packages from Japan. So this is an order that I made using the proxy service Nyokyo to order from different Japanese retailers and secondhand marketplaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out of here. Usually with Nyokyo, they will package each individual order separately inside. So once I get the box open, I'm gonna just take a few minutes and get everything out of their plastics and out of their wrapping, and then I'll go through everything. And as usual, just everything kind of in a pile underneath and then wrapped in bubble wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out of here now. Okay, just pulled it out and it's a bunch of books. I'm really excited to go through everything because as usual too, I always forget what all I ordered because it's like a month and a half of placing orders before I then consolidate it. So I'm gonna get everything opened from their individual packaging and then I'll be back to go through everything. Okay, I'm back. It's been a few hours. I took a really long time taking each item out of individual little plastic wraps that they were in and getting them sorted by series and then I just walked away and did a few other things and then came back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go through everything. And unless I miscounted, I have goods for seven series. So I'm so excited that all this stuff came. I've been so excited about all of it. So I'll go ahead and get right into it. I will have timestamps below, so feel free to skip around if there are any series that you're not interested in. So first from the series, My Love Mix-Up, I have the mangaka's art booklet graduation and this is a series that I don't own in my physical collection but I have read it but I really wanted to have this booklet I do really like the the story and then the art on the covers is gorgeous so I just really like this style that like kind of like watercolor but this is a pretty skinny book so it doesn't have a ton but I've been wanting to get it ever since I found out about it so I'm glad I was able to find a listing and oh I love how this looks So My Love Mix-Up, the graduation art booklet. Okay, this next one is a brand new art book from the mangaka Mika. And it, as you can probably see from the cover illustration, it's from the series I Cannot Reach You. But I believe because this is a mangaka art book rather than a series art book that they might have some art from their other series in here. But this just released, I had it pre-ordered as soon as I found out about it. This is another one that I've read and I don't own in my physical collection, but I did enjoy it so far and I'm looking forward to seeing how the series ends. But I wanted to have something to represent the series in my collection, so when I found out they were doing an art book, I wanted to have it. But it's a big art book too, like it's the larger sized. I flipped through this earlier. It's a little awkward because of the angle of my camera, sorry. So a bit of color illustrations as well as some little extras. These were probably released 
with some of the volumes or maybe we're retailer exclusives. But I just love little extra things like this. This is a high school romance series. I really like the dark haired guy. I forget their names. Okay, so I think that was a pretty small Q&A section in the back, so mostly illustrations and art, just a little bit of text, but I think this other, this manga has other series. I know one of them is Minato's Coin Laundry. But I didn't see any art from that in here, so this might just be only art from I Cannot Reach You. But I'm glad I got a copy of this. It's a super nice art book. Next, I have some merch from a Korean manhwa called Shetline, and I I think it's really funny that I was able to find these on a Japanese secondhand marketplace because I was looking for these on Mercari US and all the listings were pretty expensive. I was looking on a Korean secondhand marketplace as well and they were expensive as well. And so I just thought I may as well look on Mercari Japan and just see. And this was a pretty cheap listing for the little set that I wanted. So this was from the 2024 Leshen calendar from the series Shetline. This is Jake. And I really wanted to get this little set that came with a photo card of him and a print. And these were released with the Seasons Greetings calendar set. And then this last item here is the actual calendar page that has him and then a little extra bonus comic on the back, also featuring the other main character in Shetline. So the calendar theme was about sporting events. So every character from the different series was designed as if they were doing a sport. So his says shooting, so like riflery or something. And then just kind of getting to see the characters in that theme was exciting. Even though this series has nothing to do with sports or shooting rifles, this is a gangster series that has to do also with cars and this character is a gangster and the other main character works on cars in an auto shop, so. <laughs> but wanted to get this merch and I'm glad I was able to find it in an unexpected place. The next series I have a few goods from the series Firefly Wedding. I'm so excited this series was just recently announced that it was licensed by Viz Media. So I am looking forward to it so much to have this series in English. It is a historical set series that follows a katana wielding assassin and a girl who has escaped being a kidnapper who has been now on the run, trying to find a way to get back to her family. But this is the volume four release. It just released in Japan. And I have been collecting this series in Japanese. I have volumes one to three already. And with the English release announcement, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep collecting them in Japanese or not. I kind of want to wait and see what the English volume covers are going to look like because 
I just really like the Japanese covers with the way that the text is formatted on the covers and the spine. I just feel like they look so elegant and I am really curious how they're gonna look under the Shoujo Beat imprint. But yes, I had pre-ordered this one. I'm really <laughs> excited to have it now. The first volume releases in English in January 2025, and I believe volume two in April. So I've got a bit of time to wait, but I'm really, really excited for it. And then along with this volume release, I got this little bromide print that was, I believe, a retailer exclusive bromide. So I'm glad that I... I made sure that the one that I ordered was going to come with it. And then I also ordered these two postcard prints. And I believe these were actually released with acrylic standees, so in these poses. And I was considering getting the standees, but the next item I have is a different standee that I ended up getting, and so I still wanted to have the art for the two designs, so I just got the postcard prints of two main characters of Firefly Wedding. And then this acrylic standee <laughs> of Goto looking all loungy and a little disheveled as usual. Go ahead and open it. But in my last Japan haul, I had ordered a few Firefly Wedding items from an event, and this was actually from the same event, but I skipped on this one and then regretted it, but then I was able to find a secondhand listing. So it's really cute when it's stood up on the stand. He looks like he's like leaning up against something or sitting down, so I'm gonna see how I can put it on my shelf and make it look like it fits. And then a little base with name board or something. I don't know if that's his name in Japanese or this is the name of the series. So maybe that's his name. But I'm excited to get this set up. He's so cute. Next I have a few items from Love of Kill. I feel like every haul from Japan, I have to have something from Love of Kill snuck into the order. But I got a few things. First is this Love of Kill art book. So I already have this Love of Kill art book, but because I really, really regularly flip through it, and then whenever I make posts on Instagram with art from the inside, I'm always like cranking it open. It's been starting to show signs of wear on the spine and then even the dust jacket from pulling it in and out of the bookcase. So I figured I may as well, while there are still copies in stock, pick up another copy. I'm really happy this one arrived in perfect condition, just is fantastic. This art book is the most prized possession in my entire collection, so I've been feeling a bit anxious about it, and I'm feeling a lot better now that I have this really nice, just pristine condition art book. So now with my more worn copy, I can just continue enjoying looking at it regularly, but just really love this series, Love of Kill. I adore the main character, Rangha. I really, really like this mangaka's art style. And their storytelling. How it's a bit dark, but then also has good comedy in it. Another thing I was thinking about doing with my other art book copy is because the pages are kind of 
bound into a book form with glue. I know that there are some people who will like heat the spine of art books so that then when the glue heats and melts, you can just really easily pull out the pages. And I might do that in the future with my other art book. And then I can use these pages and just frame them. So maybe when I have a little more space where I can display even more of my love kill goods, I can do that and kind of rotate what art I want to put on display. The next two items are a couple more acrylic standees and one of each of the main characters, so Rangha and Chateau. And it's in their kind of traditional clothing from, not from in the story, but just from some of the scenes in the art book that the mangaka has done these art styles and traditional clothing. So I had seen these in the past and I passed on them because I thought I didn't have room for them and they just weren't at the top of my list of love of kill goods that I wanted. But recently with the series ending with volume 13 in English ending the main story and then volume 14 in Japanese having the bonus content in book form. I really hope we'll get volume 14 in English as well. Please, Yen Press, please. But with the releases of those final volumes, I started getting really anxious about just Love of Kill merch in general, just kind of drying up and not being available anymore. So I decided anything that I was remotely interested in with Love of Kill, I would just go ahead and buy because who knows a few years down the road, it could be really hard to get a hold of any of this. So I went ahead and picked these ones up. I'm not sure yet if I have room on my shelf to set them up and put them on display. So I might just keep them sealed up like this for a bit until I wanna rotate them in or until I have a little more space to spread my collection out even more. But they're really gorgeous. From the mangaka's Twitter, they had posted some art in this outfit that I did actually print because I just wanted to have it because it wasn't in the art book. Sorry for the glare. Chateau looks cute. And then one more Love of Kill item that I jumped on as soon as I saw it. Again, I'm kind of in a, if I want it and it's love of kill, just go ahead and buy it kind of mode lately. But this one is a B6 size acrylic plate. I love this illustration in the art book. So there's a two page spread in the art book of Ring Han Chateau, like backpacking or just going on an adventure and walking through a market, getting some food while they're doing that. And I don't know if it was at an event or what that this was released, but I know while it was serializing, Katakawa would hold events where they would do Kuji pulls for the different items, or maybe you could just select which ones you wanted, but a B6 acrylic plate of that scene. So I do already have one of the Love of Kill acrylic plates, but it's of the anime poster. So this is my first one that is an art scene from the art book. But I do like how these are 
designed how it's just a little board and it has a little hole in it. And it comes with this little single post that goes in the back and then a plug that goes on the front. And then, super simple, <laughs> but I'm really excited to have this now. I don't know if I have room for it, but I'm gonna make room for it so that I can put it on display. Okay, two series to go. First, I have some goods from One Piece, some official goods and some fan-made. So first I have some trading cards from the One Piece card game. A few for myself and a few for my husband. So my husband's favorite character in One Piece is Hancock. So we were able to find a couple cards for him. So this one of Hancock. And these two new cards from the newest starter deck, I think, but they're both S Snake cards and they're so cute. She is so cute. And I love these. I love how cool this one looks with the flames, but then this one with her heart. I forget what it's called when she does the... <laughs> but he is excited to have these ones. After I finish this haul, he's gonna put them into his album. Of course, I will do the same. And then my two cards that I'm thrilled that I got my hands on. First, Rayleigh. I'm so glad with the newest releases that he got a few cards. I can't believe he got a manga card released. Those ones are gonna be so expensive, so I am probably never gonna get a hold of one of them. But I wanted to get this one for sure. I really like Rayleigh. He's my favorite non-Straw Hat character. He's my third favorite character overall after Luffy and Sanji. And I really love how this card looks. It kind of reminds me of my Shanks card that has a similar design, but I only really collect Sanji trading cards and then a few other trading cards of characters I like, so this is probably going to be one that goes on display on my shelves rather than going in my album. And then I have been in such anticipation for this last card. Ah! <laughs> so this is Sanji's anniversary card from the One Piece card game in China, their first anniversary. So it only has a release with the Chinese card game. And I'm so glad I was able to get a hold of it. I was trying to keep an eye out on Taobao to try to get a secondhand copy when they released. I didn't know when they were releasing, so I just kept checking regularly. But then I managed to find a secondhand card being sold on Mercari Japan, even though it's a Chinese card. And he looks so good. I'm so happy that I got this. It looks amazing with the gold behind him, the foiling. And I'm just so happy to have it. And the rest of my One Piece goods are fan-made items from an artist that I follow on Twitter. I will have their Twitter handle in the video description. But I do already have two of their doujinshi unofficial fan books. And so they recently released a brand new one as well as reprinted an older one because they were going to an event and we're gonna be selling these in a booth. So 
After their event ended, they sold all of their extra copies on Booth. So I was so excited and trying to pay close attention so that I wouldn't miss the release because they have done this before and I just totally missed the release. And I still have a couple more of their fan books that I'm trying to get a hold of. I believe I'm missing two of them now after getting these two and then the two that I already had. But these are both rated 18 plus. So I won't flip through them. I think for each one, I will just find a single panel to show, to show the art style because I just really love the way that this artist draws Sanji. And both of these are La Sanji ship fan books. But I just love how soft he looks. He always looks beautiful. I love how they do his eyelashes. But this is their new fan book, Midnight Dusk. And then, I don't think this is an old one, but it is an older one, Warmth. But again, just, I love how they draw Sanji and Law. So I'm really happy to have these ones now. And then in addition to those, they had a new release of some postcard prints of Sanji in different outfits. And I love the way that they did the color backgrounds kind of blending into his clothing. So this was just a cool thing that they did for the event that they had in person that they were going to release these with the booklets. But then I was able to order from the extras that they had afterward. And this is their new art booklet, unofficial fan book. And this one is all about just different outfits for Sanji and Law. And it's just so fun. They're so cute. Oh, and I just love their art style. Every time they post something new. But I'm so happy I was able to get a hold of these. Ah. Okay, so on to my last series. It's the last series, but I got quite a lot of goods for that series, and that's why I saved it for last. So I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and then go through all of the goods for this last one. Okay, so. This is a pile of magazines. <laughs> so this is what was filling up the package. The entire bottom half of the package was four magazines from Dear Plus that all have covers from the series Love Nest. I recently read all the series from that world. So Sayonara Game, Change World, Love Nest, Love Nest Second, and Engage. And... I loved the section with Asahi and Masato. I just really loved them as characters and their story. So I wanted to get some additional merch other than just having the volumes. So I do own the series in English and I also have the mangaka's art book, but I wanted to have more. So I was browsing through the archived Dear Plus magazine covers on their website and I was thinking maybe I would just choose one and have one magazine that I could put on display or just have in my collection. But as I was looking, I realized that Love Nest for the two volumes of Love Nest and then the two volumes of Love Nest Second, there were only four covers. So cover illustrations for Dear Plus releases. 
So I decided to just get all four of them. And I did get them all secondhand, so a couple of them are more beat up than the others. But I'll just go ahead and show the ones that I got. So this one is the September 2018 Deer Plus issue with this cover. And then it has a little extra illustration card here on the inside. I guess it was a calendar page. And then it was advertised with a drama CD, but the drama CD was for an earlier series in this universe, Change World. So I like Change World, but my favorite characters were these two, so they're the ones that I wanted to get all these goods for. But now I have, I believe this is the second Change World drama CD. So I will listen to it and decide if I like the voice acting for these two guys, then I might try to hunt down the first drama CD for Change World as well. So this is the first one. And then I'm glad there are big pictures of the cover illustration on the spine. So for the ones I don't have to, on display. This one though has like a giant crack down the spine, but it's fine, it's fine. It's an older one, so I'm just glad that I got a hold of it. Next is the September 2019 issue of Deer Plus. Another illustration of them. And I'm not sure what the Faroku was for this issue. But this one didn't come with anything extra, so... I don't know, but it's also kind of fun to see it in Japanese in the actual magazine issue because I didn't read this series until it was already released in English already, but they're cute. Also, I think for these four covers, I do think that all four of them are in the manga's art book, so it isn't really necessary it isn't necessary to go and hunt these down if you love this series as well, but I just went ahead and did it because I was browsing around looking and then I found used copies of all four of them, so. And then another drama CD that was included with this magazine issue, so the March 2020 issue of Dear Plus. And it also came with a little cover. And then <laughs> it's so exciting to see. From when the series was serializing, just having the color pages in the magazine. So this one. And then this last one here from September 2020 and this was another one that didn't come with any Faroku but look who else is on the spine Minato but now I have a color spread from therapy game <laughs> but I love this one Asahi and Masato so gonna give some thought later on as to how I'm gonna add these to my shelves and how I'm gonna try to display them so then in addition to the magazine releases or the magazine issues with the Love Nest cover illustrations, I also found this acrylic stand of the two guys and I wanted it because they look stunning. I love their outfits and their pose. One of the characters is an architect, so this house that they're leaning up against. And then I'm not sure what event this was, but something with Tower Records that put on this event, so it has some branding on there as well. But I guess I could go ahead and set it up because I want to put it on display 
because they're so cute. Ah, little pieces are popping out already. Okay, we'll try to slide this out carefully. Okay, so it says Dear Plus 25th anniversary, so I guess it was partnered with Tower Records. I'm not sure which side it's supposed to go on though. If this goes on the back, probably goes on the front. I'm gonna look at pictures online <laughs> and make sure before I pop them in, but. Okay, a bit of a hard cut because my phone ran out of storage, but I was about to show just a close up of the guys, the stand, and while I was waiting, I had to take a few things off my phone, but while I was waiting, I just went ahead and set it up. But I love it. They look so good. I love their outfits, but I'm excited to get my little, oops, my little love nest display all updated on my shelves. So in addition to those, I got a few extra little booklets and some of the bonus papers that came with volume releases and drama city releases as I believe retailer exclusives. So this one is actually a little booklet, like a really little, like only <laughs> four pages or so, but follows them as cats. <laughs> it's really cute. And I'm not gonna show all of these cause some of them are a little spicy, but just some extra little bonus comics. There were a few different listings that I picked up that had some of these and some of them were bundled with other items. But I wanted to get my hands on these because I don't believe they're included in the English volumes or in the art book. So now I have them. I'll have to keep an eye out to see if there are any others that I'm missing. I have no idea how many there have been, but if this mangaka releases a little fan book of extras, kind of like Candy Color Paradox did that had some of the bonus comics like these, I'll be really happy because then we can maybe one day get them in English, but happy to have all of these in my hands now. In addition to the loose papers, also a couple more booklets. So, this is a little short booklet. I love this illustration of them. These are in the art book, but then the actual comic follows them when they go to an onsen and it's really cute. I'm excited to go through with my translator and read it. And then another little booklet. And both of these were released with the drama CDs. But then this one, as is indicated, has a holiday theme to it. And looking forward as well with this one to go through and read it with my translator. And lastly, I had mentioned drama CDs, but I went ahead and picked up all the drama CDs for Love Nest and Love Nest Second. So I just, kept this with the pile, but this was holding one of the drama CD packs. But for Love Nest and then Love Nest Second, so each one had a part one, a part two, and then a bonus one that came in a magazine issue. So for Love Nest, I got the first one, part one, and it has two CDs inside. And then part two, 
which has two CDs inside or two discs inside. I had considered getting these digital, but I figured if I was gonna pay for them to get the content, I may as well get the physical so that I could have this art of them here on the front. And then I did pull out these little booklets inside and they both have interviews with the voice actors. And then this extra that came with a magazine. This is actually the one that came with the magazine issue that I bought already. So now I have two of these. But then the other drama CD I got with the magazine issue was for Change World. So I didn't get this one. So this was for Love Nest Second, part one, part two, and then the extra. But this one was released with the one of the magazine issues that was serializing Engage. So after Love Nest Second finished, and Engage started serializing, then they released the next drama CD. But I love the covers. I, I think these art covers for the CD jackets are in the art book for the Monica's art book. I think. But I, I like them, they're so pretty. And then again, this one has two discs, but then this one had three discs and there's the case is a little different as a result. So I'm gonna see if I can get this paper to go in here because I wanna keep these CD cases as display items as part of my collection. These are the first drama CDs that I've gone out of my way to try to collect because I haven't really been a drama CD collector or really listened to them. Apart from Love of Kill, I do have drama CDs for Love of Kill that I listen to, but those ones are in boxes though. They're not in CD cases, so. I haven't had like physical CD cases and discs in quite a while, so. We'll be really looking forward to going through and listening to all of these. I read some reviews online and there was one reviewer in particular who was really raving about the voice actors for not just the Love Nest characters, but also the Change World characters and Engage who have a role in Love Nest as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing how they sound as well as just going through and reorganizing my collection a bit. So I did recently reorganize my shelves and I knew that this was all on the way. I had already ordered all of these. So I did leave a big section of my shelves kind of empty so that I can, after filming this haul video, have a space for them and not have to worry about needing to move things around. So. That's what I'm gonna be doing next. So that was everything. Now that I've finished going through all these goods, I believe at the start I said seven series. So I apologize for being a little long-winded, but all the goods. I'm really happy with everything that I picked up. So a couple art books, a couple art booklets, doujinshi, official prints and standees, drama CDs, magazine issues, so a little bit of everything, playing cards. I think the highlight of my haul is probably this Love of Kill acrylic plate, as well as my new art books for I Cannot Reach You and Love of Kill and My Love Mix-Up. So always really excited when I get a new art book. And then of course, all of this Love Nest stuff, I've just been really excited to get my hands on. But again, thanks for watching. If you stuck around to this point, anytime my phone runs out of storage while I'm filming, I'm just like, oh great, this is gonna be a really long video.
But I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again soon in another video.